Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I've got the save game of Resident Evil Village on the Apple Silicon Mac. And today I'm going to show you how to locate the save game so that you can export it. This is going to be useful if you don't have iCloud Drive enabled or you want to transfer it onto a different computer. And I've got the save game here, which is at 39 minutes, and I want to transfer it from my MacBook Air, which I've got here. And I basically want to play the exact same save game on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. And today I'm going to show you how to do this manually. So this is how to locate the save game and then how to transfer it over. And then, so anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. First thing I'm gonna do is to shut down Resident Evil Village. And then what we're gonna do is to locate the save game files. So they're in a place that is not normally accessible. So I'm gonna highlight Finder and then go to the menu bar and press go. Then I'm gonna hold down the option key, which is gonna reveal the library section here and then click on that. And basically we're going to locate the folder called containers and double click and then we're going to find the folder for Resident Evil Village. So double click on that and then we'll double click on data and then we're going to go to library and what I'm going to do is actually put this into list mode so we can see this a bit more clearly. Then we're going to go into application support. Then I'm going to expand Capcom, Resident Evil Village, save data. So this is my save game which I've already got on this computer. What I'm gonna do is to airdrop this to my other computer or you can just email it or whatever you want. So I'm going to do control click on here. Then I'm gonna press the share button and then we're gonna airdrop and then I'm gonna airdrop this to my MacBook Pro. So on my MacBook Pro, I'm gonna to go to Finder and then we're going to Downloads and then we're gonna find my save data folder. So I'm gonna control click. So I'm gonna actually extract the actual data bins inside here. We're going to control click and press copy and then basically we'll go to the same place on my computer here i've already saved this here you can see the path bar here by enabling view and then show path bar and basically you can see here users android side library containers resident evil village data library application support capcom resident evil village save data so what i'm going to do is to basically overwrite my save data here replace and then these are my save game files. Then we're gonna go ahead and load up Resident Evil Village on a different computer entirely. So now that we're in the game, we're gonna just press start game and then load game. And then this is the exact save game that I had from my MacBook Air. And go ahead and load this. So I've loaded up my save game and basically I'm exactly where I was on my MacBook Air, but I've transferred it onto my MacBook Pro. And it all seems to be working fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.